From here we're gonna start working with Storefront. We already installed Storefront when we installed WooCommerce. So basically you only open Appearance, then Themes, and then you activate the Storefront. So click here on Activate. Once Storefront is activated, you can click here on Customize, and this is going to open the Customizer. So from here, for example, you can click here on the first option, Site Identity. Uh, we have a logo, you can click here to select a logo, and in the course materials for this specific video, you will find this logo.png. So let me open this. If you already have a store, if you have a logo for your company, you can upload this. So let me click here on select and I'm going to skip cropping. And this is going to up uh, upload the wall image. So you can see we have something like this. And you can see now we have the, the logo into the header. For example, you can see we have the site title and the tagline. Uh, let me remove the logo to show you this, in the case that you do, you didn't upload a logo, let me reload this. This option, site title and tagline, so for example, you add something like the online store for Carolina Spa. So this is going to update the tagline that we have here on the bottom uh, below the, the site name. And let's say that you want to remove online store right here. So from here, you can customize this, this section. You can see it says Carolina Spa and also the tagline. Let me upload the logo again. So let me click here and select, Let's go ahead, skip cropping. And this is going to upload the logo. Once you upload the logo, the text is going to be removed. So let me click here on publish. So this is going to save the changes that we are doing. From here, you can change the color of the header. So for example, you can add a background color right here. So for example, you can add this color that we have right here. And this is going to apply a background color into the header. So let me open this second file that is called the style guide. And let me copy this color. I'm going to be using this. So it's going to apply this color. And also you can add a text color or a link color. I'm going to keep this default. So let me go back. Um, for example, you can change the color of the links in these options, the links for the header. Let me go back, click here to go back. And then we have the footer. So click here on footer and scroll to the bottom. You will find the footer right here. You can see it, this imported these products. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna uh, continue working with this. So we have the background color. I'm gonna be using again my, my, my palette. You can see we have this uh, dark color. So let me, Select the dark color for this. This is going to apply a dark color. And also we have this heading color. Heading color is going to be these headings that we have here. So in this case, I'm going to apply white. And we have the text color. Again, I'm going to apply white. And the link color also is going to be white. So we're going to select white in all of these. So you can see everything is white in the footer. So let me go back. Then we have the background color. The background color for this. I'm going to select a, a light gray, nothing really dark, a light gray color right here. Then we have the typography. So from here, you can, I'm going to scroll to the top. This is going to be the heading color for this section right here. So for example, you can click here and let me again open my palette. I'm going to select this color and let me copy this. This is going to change the color for these headings. You can see we have the heading. And also we have the text color. In this case, it's going to be a, a black. So this is going to apply a black color right here. And also we have the color for the links. At the moment, we don't have any links. Well, we have the links right here. So for example, you can change the color. So I'm going to show you how to change this with CSS in the upcoming videos because I'm going to add some extra styling. I'm going to change to this color because the, the pink color that I have is different to this one. So let me add this color. So this is going to apply this in all the links that we have in the website. And I'm going to go back right here. Then we have the button. So let me scroll to the bottom. We have this button. So from here, you can change the color for the buttons. In this case, it's going to be using again this pink color. So let me add background color right here. So it's going to apply the background color. You can see it, change, it changes all the buttons. From here, I'm going to change also the text color. So all the buttons 
the color is going to be it's going to be white. So you can see we have something like this. I'm gonna go back. Then we have the layout. For the layout, let me publish these changes. For the layout, we need to open a different link. So let me scroll to the top and let me click here on shop. So let me open the first option, the first link. You can see that we have these products on the left and we have this sidebar on the right. So from here, you can select the layout. So for example, if you want to add this sidebar into the left, you can click here and this is going to swap the order. It's going to push the sidebar to the left and the content is going to be to the right. So it's up to you which design is, uh, well, you, you like most for this. Then we have the product page. For here, you can add a sticky uh, to cart and product pagination. I think I'm going to leave the defaults right here. And also uh, we have menus. So in the storefront, you can create three different menus. Uh, one is the primary menu, uh, which is this one. Then we have the secondary menu, which are going to be using, we're going to use this for the social menu. And finally, we have a menu uh, when we, the visitor is using a mobile device. So this is the handheld menu. You can see we have shop right here. So this handheld menu is going to be the menu that is going to be displayed for the mobile device. So for example, you can add an extra, uh, let me add this about page. So let me publish this. Now you can see we have shop and about, and you can reorder these items. So we have about and shop. And if you go back, you can see we have also the primary menu and the secondary menu at the moment, you have only my account, which is going to be this right here. I'm gonna use it, we're gonna use this to add the social navigation with some social icons right here. It's going to be really nice. So let me go back. We have the widgets. Uh, this already has on several widgets. So for example, this section on the right is called the sidebar. So from here you can add search, recent posts, recent comments. So you can remove this, for example, remove this or this one also. The archives, these are the default WordPress widgets. So let me remove all of these. And from here you can add a widget. When you enable WooCommerce and Storefront, will it will create several different widgets. So you can add something like uh, filter products by by price. So from here we can filter the prices of the products. And for example, you can see this one is uh, sixteen dollars. So let me make this to the right. And this product is going to be. Let me click here on filter. This product is going to be. It's going to be removed from the screen because I'm filtering the products by the price. So this is a really nice uh, widget. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you the different widgets that we have right here. So we also have these footer columns, one, two, three, and four. These are uh, these ones right here. So you can see at the moment we only have two. So you can click here and you can see we have about this side, this, this section right here. You can click here and you can change this text that we have here. This is the store for the Udemy course. You can see once you make the changes in the editor, it's going to be updated right here. So this is something really nice. We also have for column two, we have this finals. So from here you can sell, uh, change this information. And uh, you can see we have only two options. If you add another one, so let's say that you want to add uh, products, a list of products. Maybe you want to add only two products on the bottom. So let me add two products. And, and let me add three, yeah, two products because I added 23. So from here it's going to display two different products. And you can add another one. So for example, let's say that you want to add this one that says recent view products. It's going to create another widget. Uh, we haven't viewed any products. So let me open one of these. Now you can see we have the recent view products. So let me add maybe the recent three products is going to be fine. So let me click here on publish. And now you can see we have the widgets. So it's really nice that Storefront has already all these the widget zones. Something really, really nice. So from here you can add the homepage uh, settings. I'm going to leave the defaults. The homepage is going to be welcome. And the post page is going to be the blog. So this is fine. And also we have this WooCommerce. So for example, uh, this is something really nice also. We have this store notice. So for example, uh, you can add something like use the coupon 
20 off to receive 20% off in your card totals something like that and uh, I think I don't I cannot add yeah, 20% like this and from here you can enable the store notice so this is going to display the message here on the bottom and you can see we have used the coupon 20 off maybe like off 20 so uh, once someone visits this website they are going to see this notice at the bottom something in uh, similar for example if you visit the udemy website uh, they have this bar when they have uh, w when they are running some promotions so let me click here and go back we have also the product catalog from here you can and uh, let me scroll to the top you can see we have products per row so for example you can change these to two and this is going to display two products or you can add four products and it's going to display four in a row so this is something really nice this is something that can be achieved also with code but a uh, storefront makes this even easier so let me add three products i'm happy with the number three let me go back so we have product images i'm gonna leave the defaults because i really like the the size and how they look and also we have the checkout the checkout is going to be really important because for example uh, let's say that you don't want to display the company name so you can add company name and you can add hidden so this, this uh, input is going to be hidden from the from the form or let's say that you want to display this and you want to make this required. So you can see we have required and then we have this sign that says that this field is required. And we have different options right here. And from here you can also write the privacy policy right here. So this is something really nice. They added this in the latest versions and it works uh, really, really well. And finally, we have the additional CSS. From here you can add some CSS. I don't recommend that you save CSS in this section. I recommend that you add CSS and we're going to create a child team for this team and we're going to write the CSS there. I think this is a better option. So let me go back. And finally, we have this more. Uh, it says something about a store from in WooCommerce. I'm going to go back. From here, I'm going to click here on Publish. And with this, I'm going to click uh, Close this. And this is going to be the store. At the moment, we have something like this. The idea of this course is that you can learn everything about WooCommerce and also how to customize your store to achieve the design that we have in mind. So in the next video, we're going to continue working with this. First, we're going to learn how to create products.